Recently, my laptop has been lasting about 20 minutes before it just shuts down. And I'll show you a way to fix that, no joke. It's pretty hard though, but let's do this. You will need your old laptop battery, tools like this one from iFixit. It must uh, at least have like the prying tools as well. I also used a power drill to speed things up and a lithium ion battery charger. This is an IMAX B6AC, a multimeter to read voltages and safety. I keep a fire extinguisher around because this can get bad real fast. This too is not a joke. This will take several hours, but uh, the results are worth it if you can do it, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna take less than a minute here to describe what the problem is. Uh, battery balancing. Uh, lithium ion batteries, when put in a series, they cannot simply be charged like lead acid batteries, uh, laptop manufacturers and or laptop battery manufacturers know this to a point. So what they do is they'll take uh, this board, it's a protection board and, and put that in with the battery. Here's what's going on in your laptop. Um, yeah, the batteries drain and then they fill up, then they drain, then they fill up, and they drain, they fill up. And some of the cells in the laptop have a higher resistance than others, maybe, or, or they're just, they're getting pulled from, I don't know, there's several reasons why some of them will drain faster than the others. Lithium ion technology, that's what happens. Now frequently, you'll have a board on your laptop that keeps the cells from being overcharged or over discharged. And that's fine. Uh, in this case, and in many cases, this board does not balance the battery. It does not. So what you have is a, a safe battery, just not a smart one. Every laptop I've ever owned never is that protection board also a balance board never is even with this $1,500 laptop there's no balance on it It doesn't balance it is silly come on guys all right as this video progresses you might think I'm crazy but this is actually it literally works I'm on my computer right now it's been on for like 40 minutes and it's still got 40 minutes to go and that's about what it was when it was new so that's cool okay the fix first step is to take your laptop battery out. Now my laptop battery in this Asus ROG 752 is, it's built in and that is Because <laughs> Asus thinks that they're too cool for battery upgrades, you know, like if you want to get expanded battery or something, whatever. You'll see me dismantle all my computer and get to the battery. There's lots of screws in this case. And yeah, just keep a track of where the screws came from. You should be good. After removing the battery, you'll need to crack the thing open, the battery itself. Keep a fire extinguisher around and have a plan to ditch the battery to let it vent if it starts to vent. I say vent because it turns into a little rocket and then spits fire out violently. And that's what I mean when I say vent. So yeah. <laughs> and uh, if it starts to uh, do that, uh, don't just hold on to the thing and be like, what should I do? Just ditch it. Grab the fire extinguisher and in the case of this gets other stuff on fire, just put it out. And also don't breathe the fumes. And you know what? Better yet, you probably just shouldn't do this. But anyway, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> uh, yeah, this procedure is dangerous. Anyway, the battery casing is likely bonded shut pretty good, and uh, this part will be an extreme hassle. Uh, it took me about an hour, but I ended up getting the casing off, uh, and as you can see here, yeah. The main thing you wanna keep focus on here is to not pry into the cells themselves with your tools, because uh, you can start arcing connections and bad things happen. So don't poke it too hard, I guess, is like layman's terms. Once the cells are exposed, uh, you'll then need to check their voltages. You can see that I have three pairs of 18650 cells in series, uh, and 18650 means that they're 18 millimeters in diameter, 65 millimeters long, in case you were curious and didn't know. Negative and negative, positive, positive. That's the, this pair right here. If you go, Negative there, positive here, you see 3.85. Okay, 3.85. If I flip it around in this other pair of cells, right? Negative, negative, positive, positive. So they're in parallel right now. If I go negative and positive, look at that, 4.08. That is, that is considerably out of balance. Then there's a the final pair, which is this one. So there, I can reach the positive from here and the negative from there. Uh, let's take a look at that. So that's negative. Uh, no, that's positive. This is negative. Three point. Oh gosh, four point oh. So this pack is considerably out of balance. Unbalance? 
Yeah. <laughs> By the way, electric cars, they have a balanced like sequence built in into their electronics. Uh, so this doesn't happen to them like it does in laptops, especially Tesla, because they have like this variable max charge rate that you can select and it, just, uh, oh, you know what? No, I, I should stop. This video gets way too long if I keep talking about EVs. So m maybe next time. Okay, next, <laughs> charge the pairs of cells to a specific voltage with the lithium ion battery charger, uh, either uh, maybe the full 4.2 volts or uh, you can do a storage mode that brings them down to the near like 3.7. Uh, I choose to bring them all up to 4.1 volts. This took several hours. I maxed out at two amps, uh, but yeah, it was also tricky because uh, connecting the leads of the cells to the charger was difficult. I ended up using my multimeter test probe leads to make some of the contacts happen. Uh, and then I was just able to use like alligator clips that came with the charger to contact the nickel plating on the outside, as you can see. Uh, yeah, so after all of the cells were charged up to 4.1 volts, I put the battery case back together and I didn't like glue or adhere it uh, together because it, the way it was mounted in the computer, it, it holds itself together really tightly, so. And there's this like fancy LED strip light on the back of the battery that ended up helping like stick the two case halves together. But uh, oh yeah, that uh, that thing's broken now. It uh, doesn't light up at least. So yeah, go figure, right? I just peeled it off. Hmm. I turned on the computer and it was reading at 23% charge and then slowly climbed up to 27% charge and then started counting down from there and it, it, when it hit 22 percent charge uh, i just turned it off uh anyway it's weird because 4.1 volts is somewhere around 80 percent charge for those kinds of batteries uh anyway after it was shut down i just ended up charging it to full and i've cycled it almost twice now and it works great it's almost like near new so yeah like it, i mean it was barely lasting any time at all it was weird yesterday i started this project ended it and before I started the project, like I, I plugged in my computer and it would only like maximum charge to 50% and then it stopped. So I think it was really showing that it was extremely out of balance. I think eventually it says like plugged in but won't charge because some of the batteries are too high, some of them are too low and they just, the, the protection board just won't let anything happen. All right, I'm going to attempt this again with my old Toshiba laptop that I got. Uh, stay tuned for that, I guess. If you've been watching my videos, you'll see that there's a lot of like me dealing with these lithium ion batteries. And now there's a practical application regarding fixing your laptop. Go figure. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions uh, or comments, please leave them just past the like button below. It's right there. And then, yeah, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope that helped. See you later, Internet.